Tonex One is a mini size pedal with a lot of capabilities. Now the way to think of it is as a collection of amps, speaker cabinets, and gain pedals. It comes preloaded with 20 amp cabinet and pedal sounds from IK Multimedia's Tonex sound library, and via the Tonex app you have instant access to 200 Tonex SE sounds, 12 sounds from the regular and max collections, and unlimited user models from the online ToneNet community. Now, as small as it is, the Tonex One has a lot of onboard functionality. First, you can set it up in one of two different modes, stomp mode, which the foot switch toggles the unit on or off, and AB mode, where the foot switch toggles between two sounds. Now, as an example, if you were using the Tonex One as a driver fuzz pedal only, stomp mode would allow it to act like a regular pedal on your board. Now, if you're using Tonex One as an amp and cabinet, AB mode would allow you to switch between two completely different rigs. You can see on the controls that you have access to bass, middle, treble, and volume, and if you press the ALT button, those same knobs become gate, compression, reverb, and gain. You can also browse the 20 internal presets and load any of them to the AB or stomp mode positions. Now additionally, you can set global functions like input and output gain, cabinet bypass, and there's even a tuner. <laughs> Now for all the Tonex One does on its own, it's a fraction of what you can do with it via the Tonex app. Now the app is free with Tonex One and like I said, you have immediate access to a lot of sounds that can all be loaded onto the Tonex One. The app is pretty simple to navigate once you get it set up. You just plug the Tonex One into your computer via USB, launch the app and under the librarian tab you'll see the pedal connected and the sounds that are loaded. <laughs> These three are across the top of your AB and stomp mode sounds, and just below that is what's loaded on the pedal. At the bottom is everything in your library, and of course any of the sounds in your library or on your pedal can be placed in the AB or stomp slots like this. Now since I'm actually playing through the pedal, dropping sounds into the AB slots is the best way to hear them, and it's easy enough to undo redo as you just saw. But if you just want to play through and audition sounds, connect the app to your recording interface and you can just scroll through the presets. Now I've got the max version of the app and a couple extra collections, so there are a lot of sounds. Now it's nice to be able to mix and match and customize the sounds the way you want, and you can also capture your own sounds and share them on ToneNet, which is the user community. Mitch Gallagher and I did a video about how to make a Tonex tone model, and there's a link to it in the description. And of course, all of these sounds can be loaded onto Tonex One. All right, now I've got my good friend Mr. Nick Bocott here to show us a couple of his favorite Tonex One sounds. Nick, over to you, sir. Thanks, Don. I've got my Tonex One set up in dual preset mode, and the two tones I'm about to abuse are ones I literally just dragged and dropped from the Tonex library on my laptop. The first one is called Pushed 800, and it's a capture of a Zach Wilde signature JCM 800 being front-ended by a Maxon Overdrive pedal and driving a Marshall 4x12 1960 cabinet. And it sounds like this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
My second preset is one named Vintage Boogie, and it's a dual rectifier head into a traditional mess of 4x12 cabinet. You know, the one that's three inches shorter than the company's much taller standard rectifier 4x12. The lights are going to turn to purple, and then I'm going to mess up the riff. <laughs> Just like its bigger brother, the Tonex pedal, the thing I really like about the Tonex One is that you can go into your Tonex library, find something you like, tweak it to taste, then drag and drop it into this little sucker. And as there's space for 20 presets on this titchy little pedal, I can literally put my favorite presets into my pocket and not have to take my computer with me when I go play with friends. And don't forget, if there's a cab sim included in your presets and you want to run your Tonex One through a power amp and a cabinet, you can disengage the cab on this little bad boy too. Perfect. In my humble opinion, the Tonex One pedal is a great gateway into the Tonex ecosystem that offers you a bunch of tone models, including things like the official Tonex Mesa Boogie reference signature collection that players like Old Ringland have been rightfully raving about for quite some time. Said collection ain't free, but it's well worth the investment, once again, in my humble opinion. And let's not forget ToneNet, like Skynet, but not bad for you, where there lurk a mind-boggling number of captures to choose from. Over 25,000 of them to be exact. These include free downloadable tone models from the likes of our good pal Kyle Bull, or purchasable ones from a bunch of great sources, including the Studio Rats from Good Old England, and Live Ready Sound. <laughs> In short, the Tonex One is a great little affordable preset storage and tweaking portal that literally fits in your pocket. Nice. That said, back to Don. Take it away, my friend. Well done. Thank you, Nick. Thanks for checking out the Tonex One, and a special thanks to my friend Nick Bocott for sharing his valuable insights and talents. Now, if you feel led, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you have any further questions, please reach out to your Sweetwater sales engineer or check us out at sweetwater.com. Thanks.